So we've obviously got the new event which is group stage challenges in FIFA Mobile 22 and we've got quite a few things to do in this event. In this video I'm going to talk about something that you might miss out and that you should definitely do and should not miss out. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So as we know already this event is quite good because we are getting this 104 overall Wonders are for free as well as we are going to be able to get the 99 overall Hullet for free. Uh, where is it? There we go. 99 overall incredible sentiment Hullet card and we've got these offers where we can get two nine not not here sorry we've got the rewards gsc rewards where we can get two one or three overall ucl players for free as i talked about yesterday you should not go for the group a plus b right now and you should not spend any of your points on here because we've got the future leagues that are coming or future future groups these groups uh this first group is still gonna be remaining group a plus b and you're gonna get future leagues which means you can choose which players you want to go for but first one are for obviously Carrasco and Arthur. Carrasco is a very good card, Arthur is not that great, but we are not talking about that no, right now. We talked about that yesterday. A, in, a very, very good thing that you should definitely not miss out on is in the quest. So, we've got this group stage challengers daily quest where we're, uh, we can complete uh, three quests and we're gonna get a challenger credit one uh, points right there, right? Challenger credits. Uh, we're gonna get 150 every single day, and this is obviously for the secondary star pass. To get some more rewards right there but not only that but we've got the weekly ones as well this is the weekly one we've got one uh one ad that you can watch i already watched that ad so it's not showing up right there but we need to go ahead and complete all that first of all we need to complete we need, we need to pass opponent defenders without losing the ball and without being tackled in a match which is gonna be easy we need to score some goals don't remember exactly how many but that's easy as well win matches in division rivals play division rival matches complete heroes journey skill game or matches four of them that is gonna be very very easy as well of course you can just play you're probably playing uh the heroes journey already but you can if you play just four skill game if you don't want to play the uh play play this event and if you don't want to play these matches you can play the four skill games and it's gonna be done very very easily that way it's gonna take like five minutes or so and you need to complete any of the ucl uel ucl challenge mode with at least one win and that's gonna be quite easy as well all, all you need to do is to get one uefa champions league uh, player in your team and one europa league player in your team and you are gonna be able to do that quite easily as well and they're worth like one from 1.5 to 2 million coins i think if you don't want to do it right now and if you want to wait for it you can do it because they're gonna cost less than they are the players the uefa champions league and the europa league players are gonna cost less than they are right now but if you go ahead if you want to uh, complete the challenge modes you obviously need to do that right now as well so, so it's definitely your choice here obviously by completing this we're gonna get a lot of challenger credits uh challenger credit one points and gsc tokens some gsc tokens as well that is gonna be needed to open some packs and the, the challenger credits are obviously for the secondary star pass that i talked about it already so with those challenger credits you can go ahead and claim uh, claim players or claim rewards in this pass right there challenger credit one pass so let me go ahead and claim these rewards right now i'm gonna be able to claim 50 gsc tokens and 100,000 coins i don't think i'm gonna buy this star pass though i don't think it's worth it to buy this star pass it's not the best one right it's not the best one but the main star pass is definitely very very good like we are getting a lot more fifa points that we would with uh, with the money we are, we are spending on this star pass and plus we are also getting so many more rewards shards coins gsc points tokens uh players of course uh fifa points as i already talked about training transfer items elite players um yeah a lot of players 99 overall bisuma 102 for fana as well as uh the modes of course 105 overall haji as well i actually like that force emote uh, the force emote looks very very clean then clean indeed where we are getting that one this one looks very nice i like that I, i'm probably gonna use that when i when i get him but let me open that 60 plus overall pack i don't know what it's doing there but we, are, we, we i'm gonna open this 70 plus overall packs as well are we gonna pick an elite no we are not we've got 270 over oh it's way back we've got 270 overall players also something that is quite easy to to forget is obviously the ads as well make sure to watch this ad because you're get you've got a chance to get 95 plus overall ucl player but it's this one is quite easy not to miss because it's in the first page right but if we go into the gsc rewards we can get um no not gsc rewards or gsc offers i'll always mess this up but GF, gsc offers we've got this um it's every single day where you can get 100 gsc tokens 100 extra gsc tokens to 
uh, to open those packs, of course, UCL, UEL, or UECL, whichever ones you want. I right now do actually want to open this pack, so I'm gonna get enough. I'm gonna get thousand to get to open at least one of these packs, and we've got a chance to pack one of four Campos, one of two Diogo Jota, Felipe. Um, and when you pack one of these players, they're gonna be re uh, replaced with something else. They're gonna be replaced with um, either coins probably or skill boosts or maybe rank rank items as well. Um, I don't know. But yeah, make sure to make sure to watch these sets every day to get extra a hundred um, extra a hundred GSC tokens. So I watched that ad now to where I have a chance to pick ninety five plus overall UCL player. I packed five thousand coins, but I can go ahead and open that one thousand GSC token pack. I need to just claim this for free one right now with one hundred uh, GSC tokens. I got that one hundred GSC tokens, and now I need to go into GSC offers. And as I said already, make sure to watch these ads. And now I'm gonna watch two of these ads to get one uh, exactly one thousand GSC tokens to open one of those packs. So I'm gonna be back. Right, we are gonna get the last fifty now, and we got a thousand GSC tokens. Obviously, I can open these packs as well as I can open the UEL packs. Uh, but I don't really want to do this. Uh, we we can get one or three overall player from this Fabio Vieira, which is. 25 million coins, but we can also get 92 um, And we are we don't have a guaranteed chance that we are gonna pack this as well as in the UE, UECL one We can go ahead and get like 97 euro player for 250 tokens, but we don't have a uh, do we have a high chance? I mean 6.7 percent. Nope. Not not a high chance at all. Do we get a uh, possibility in here as well? No, we don't uh, but it's still a possible chance to get a UEL player. But in the UCL player box one with 1,000, I think there is a guaranteed chance as well as we can get that one for overall Campos or Diogo Jota. I will take both of them. I'll take either of them. Now, Felipe I'll take as well because high, he's high overall. But other than that, I don't really need any of them. Let's see who we are going to get though. First, my first UCL pack. Please be uh, Portuguese. No, it's Nigerian. Um... Sent me that's a that's a very very bad one. 92 overall on Yatika. Okay, he's worth under a million coins. So you can get get those UCL slash UEL players one each to complete that challenge mode and complete that quest. But yeah, last time I checked them, they were like 1.5 mil, but now they are under one million coins. This is the worst one I could have got as well. And it got changed with ten thousand coins. I wanted Portuguese or Argentinian flag. I got the Nigerian flag which was the worst possible outcome. Not a great one at all, not a great one. But hey, I, I've got a UCL player now and I just need a UEL player in my team and I will be able to uh, complete all the challenge modes. Let me see how much they're worth, the UEL players. Yeah, UEL players are still like 1.5 million coins. They're still more expensive uh, than the UCL players because probably not a lot of people are opening those packs. Plus, we don't have a guaranteed chance to pack uh, those UEL players and with UCLs we've got a guaranteed chance when most of the players are what most people are probably packing the 92 or 90 for the lower overall ones I myself packed the 92 overall as well I'm very very disappointed but that's life what, what can we do about that nothing really anyways this is gonna be the end of the video guys for today please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and peace